When I think of an ideal diet that will keep people healthy into old age, my mind immediately goes to the Mediterranean. Like many others, I recall the way of life, the sun, and the ocean. Because, in general, the Mediterranean area and the joy of life that it entails are a fantastic place to start when it comes to health. Also, a Mediterranean diet rich in healthy oils, antioxidants, and less cardiovascular stress, in the form of saturated fats, highly processed foods, and so on, would probably perform just as well for most individuals in Northern Europe. Grapes are an essential component of the Mediterranean diet, particularly in the form of wine and juice. This begs the obvious question, can a daily glass of red wine possibly help to my overall well-being in a medical sense? Is it the key to youthful energy and good aging? Or, to put it another way, what can grapes do for my body? OPCs are a class of chemicals that have grown in popularity as dietary supplements. Welcome to today's episode of Longevity News. In this episode, I will show and talk to you about a completely new senolytic supplement which is likely to dethrone fisetin. OPC refers to a class of plant compounds identified in peanut shells in 1948. They are polyphenols and flavanols with structures that are similar to each other. Plants require OPC to defend themselves against a variety of external threats since they have an antioxidant impact. UV exposure and predators are among the threats. OPCs, oligomeric proanthocyanidins, are mostly present in the leaves, fruit membranes, peanuts, grapes, red berries, and red wine, and bark. Many people associate the word with grape seed extract. This is partially accurate, because grape seed extract, or grape seed extract, contains a range of proanthocyanidins as well as other secondary compounds such as resveratrol. As a result, OPC is not a straight fruit extract. It is also not a single pure chemical, but rather a family of compounds, analogous to polyphenols or vitamins, which are available in supplements in pure form. Resveratrol and OPC are chemicals present in grapeseed extract that serve comparable functions in plants. More investigations have been undertaken on resveratrol than on OPC since it is a single, more identifiable molecule that has attracted significant attention in recent years as the red wine polyphenol. More in-depth investigations in this sector are needed to determine whether OPC can truly protect us from chronic illnesses in childhood and old age but the most recent ones are very promising. What is known is that OPC, resveratrol, and grape seed extract all have a role in European naturopathy. OPC has been certified by the European Food Safety Authority as safe and acceptable for use in food supplements. People are losing faith in conventional medicine and traditional techniques of therapy or medicines. At the same time, there is a growing desire for alternatives such as natural food supplements and natural historical healing approaches. Grape seed extract has piqued the curiosity of many individuals due to its antioxidant content. These are compounds that protect cells from harm and may aid in the prevention of a variety of illnesses. However, it is currently too early to tell whether grape seed extract's antioxidant capabilities truly assist individuals. Grape seed extract is being studied by researchers to determine whether it might reduce the incidence of certain malignancies. For the time being, the evidence is ambiguous. Grape seed extract is becoming increasingly popular in this setting. This study outlines how it works, how it is used, and what scientific data is available. OPC, like other plant antioxidants, can protect our cells from harm caused by the following processes, UV rays, aging, infections, chronic inflammation, sleep deprivation, and stress are all factors to consider. Toxins in the environment, drugs, and alcohol. Free radicals are formed as a result of the pressures and strains of ordinary living. Plant antioxidants make the environment more capable of dealing with them, keeping us young and vital. Because oxidation takes over and impairs our metabolism if it is not neutralized. In the worst case scenario, chronic diseases become at home in our compromised system. As a result, prevention is the best solution. Antioxidants can also reduce the risk of vascular damage, which can lead to cardiovascular disease and excessive blood pressure. 
A meta-analysis of 16 trials including 810 persons with high blood pressure or at risk of developing it discovered that consuming 100 to 2000 mg of GSC daily lowered systolic and diastolic blood pressure, the top and bottom numbers, by an average of 6.08 mm of mercury and 2.8 mm of mercury, respectively. Those under the age of 50 who had obesity or a metabolic disease improved the most. Lower dosages of 100 to 800 mg daily for 8 to 16 weeks yielded the most promising benefits, rather than a single dose of 800 mg or more. Another research of 29 persons with high blood pressure discovered that consuming 300 mg of GSC daily reduced systolic blood pressure by 5.6% and diastolic blood pressure by 4.7% after 6 weeks. Increasing your flavonoid intake may help with collagen production and bone growth. GSE may help promote bone density and strength since it is high in flavonoids. Adding GSE to a low calcium, normal calcium, or high calcium diet has been shown in animal experiments to enhance bone density, mineral content, and bone strength. Your kidneys are especially vulnerable to oxidative damage, which is frequently irreversible. GSE has been found in animal tests to minimize kidney damage and enhance function by lowering oxidative stress and inflammatory damage. In one research, 23 patients with chronic renal failure were given 2 grams of GSE daily for 6 months before being compared to a placebo group. Urinary protein reduced by 3%, while kidney filtration increased by 9%. This suggests that the kidneys in the test group were far more capable of filtering urine than the kidneys in the placebo group. OPC's potential health advantages are hampered by its weak solubility and, as a result, poor intestine absorption. Emulsions containing other water-insoluble compounds, such as lipids, have the potential to increase OPC absorption. Liposomal OPC is an effective method for increasing OPC bioavailability. The recommended daily intake of grape extract for adults is typically 150 to 300 mg. Food supplements in the form of pills or capsules are most commonly utilized. Because the impact is varied by individual metabolism, making broad conclusions regarding the dosage is problematic. If you want to be on the safe side, stick to the suggested daily dose. If the extract is used as a therapeutic measure, which necessitates a much greater dose, a doctor should always be consulted. A daily intake of 400 mg or more is permitted if the plant ingredient is utilized medically. Alternatively, 1 to 2 mg per kilogram of body weight might be taken as a preventative measure. A dosage of 80 to 160 mg per day is advised for a person weighing 80 kg. When using the appropriate daily amount, the secondary plant ingredient is completely natural and free of negative effects. It is important to take the capsules or pills on a regular basis and in conjunction with other vitamins. The reason behind this is that the grape extract enhances the action of the vitamins and vice versa. In other words, if vitamin C is consumed at the same time as the secondary plant ingredient, the action of the C vitamin will be enhanced. It is best to take the capsules on an empty stomach so that the impact can develop fully. The capsules are taken with a little fluids around 30 minutes before the first meal. If you have difficulty swallowing pills or capsules on an empty stomach, you can take them with a meal. It is best to avoid taking the dietary supplement with dairy items at the same time. If these guidelines are followed, the favorable influence on health will be felt shortly. Adverse Consequences Grape seed extract is generally thought to be safe. Headache, itching scalp, dizziness, and nausea are all possible side effects. Risks. Grape seed extract should not be used by anyone who are allergic to grapes. Consult your doctor before beginning to use grape seed extract if you have a bleeding issue or high blood pressure. Interactions. If you take any medications on a daily basis, see your doctor before beginning to use grape seed extract. It may interact with blood thinners, NSAID pain relievers, such as aspirin, Advil, and Aleve, some cardiac medications, cancer therapies, and other medications. Grape seed extract is not suggested for children or pregnant or nursing women due to a lack of data on its safety. Several studies have previously shown that grape seed extract can be effective in the treatment and prevention of a variety of ailments. To gain all of the favorable results, 
make sure to take the OPC capsules on an empty stomach, with liquids. Concurrent vitamin consumption is also good since the impact is mutually increased. Because each individual is unique and represents a very complicated system, the outcome may vary. Ongoing research and investigations will certainly reveal further favorable impacts of the secondary plant ingredient. Definitely give it a go. So, what is your experience and opinion on taking OPC grape seed extract? Have you tried it already, and if so, what benefits have to had with its help? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching Longevity News. We consistently report on the newest biotechnologies and supplements around longevity on society's path to curing aging. Please support our cause by liking this video and subscribing to not miss out on any new videos.